Paris, Boston, London, marathon cities of the world, endurance tests run by the fittest and the fastest. And now me. I've been training to run in a marathon, well, 10 kilometers of one anyway. But this is no ordinary race. This is the Pyongyang Marathon. It may not be home to the world's elite runners, High fives. but it's certainly the most unusual race I've ever taken part in. After weeks, or shall we say days, of training, I felt ready to take on the field of professional runners. The race has been open to foreigners since 2014, and the pack of tourists and athletes traveling to the normally closed country is growing year on year. This year, the turnout is bigger than ever. More than a thousand foreigners are taking part. You know, we have 1,600 runners this year. There was 800 last year. What will it be in five years? I think you're going to see tremendous growth and opportunity. You know, the Korean government, of course, needs foreign currency. And uh, one way to do it is tourism. The race begins at the brand new May Day Stadium. And it's packed perfect weather conditions and a flat course, I thought I'd be able to put in a decent time. But with all the distractions and high-five diplomacy along the way, it looks like I may have been mistaken. Oh, wow. I think I've just been left. In the end, I finished the race in a shade over an hour, just behind my marathon buddy and the oldest runner in the pack. Oh, yeah. In the professional race, a runner from the DPRK finished first, coming in after just two hours, much to the delight of the 60,000 strong crowd. But who's really counting? Oh, yeah. After all, it's Gold the medal. taking part, it not the winning, that counts. Great. See ya. 